To see the path more clearly, expand the stroke parameter and click on the color square to select a dark pink color. Do the same with the path color and select white to better see the number of points that make up the curve. You can move existing points with the creation tool, but if you place your mouse in between two points on the curve, a small plus sign will appear on the cursor. With each click, you can add a point to the curve without changing its visual appearance. These new points can then be edited with the same tool. This tool also contains additional features. By pressing the Ctrl or Command key and hovering the mouse over an existing point, a small minus sign will appear on the cursor. Clicking will then remove the points on the curve. With the same tool, you can press the Alt key, place the cursor on an existing point, and click and hold down the left mouse button to define two new tangents. Keep these three functions in mind. Without keyboard shortcuts, simply click on the curve to add points. Use the Ctrl or Command key to remove points and use the Alt key to redefine the tangents, either by holding down the left mouse button to pull on these tangents, or by simply clicking to bring the tangents back to the same position as the supporting point. Take a few minutes to practice using these shortcuts to easily create and edit new paths on the fly. With a single tool, you can perform numerous operations. In this video, we went over how to add a point to an existing curve, remove a point from a curve, and edit point tangents.